on to Shoshana, and it's officially February, which means Valentine's Day is right around the corner, and we are in the month of love. That is right. All of February is known as the month of love. So, this means that you will be getting suggestions for sparkling wine and red wine because they are two of the sexiest wines in the game, which we know. But I want to throw out a challenge to you. I want to make another suggestion for this month of love. I want to throw out a brandy challenge. That's right, a brandy challenge. On the brandy list is the king of brandy, Cognac. Now, a lot of people don't even realize that there is a lovely, beautiful, cute little town called Cognac, France. I had the pleasure of going to visit when I went with Hennessy. Most people know the big dogs in Cognac, like Henny, Hennessy, Remy Martin, and Martel, and... Camus, which is starting to claim its name in the space. Cavassier, also another one of my favorites. It's a little more floral and a little more feminine on the palate. Really great, but there are over 200 cognac producers, so there's so much cognac to try and so much time. Another great brandy to try is also from France, and it's called Armanac, and you'll find it from Armanac, France. Armanac is really, really great. You'll find, though, that there aren't as many big houses. You know, Cognac, they're known for their big, big producers. Armanacs are mainly made by small producers. They make some beautiful stuff. It's actually older than Cognac and aged about 10 years longer than Cognac. You can really find some beautiful things. Some people prefer Armanac over Cognac. What you will find, though, is more French people love to get their Armanac on they will drink this after a meal before a meal whenever because you know how the french do uh but cognac is more of an american more of an asian market thing though the french do drink it but definitely they love them some armanac because they just know how to make brandy it is what it is now we're going to take it to italy and we're going to go to grappa Italy's answer to brandy, and it's a beautiful answer, I'm telling you. Some of you who follow me know that I had the pleasure of going to Italy to explore grappa. It is so great after a fabulous Italian meal. The Italian people love it, and more and more Americans are starting to drink it. You're going to find it more in cocktails. Now, I will say this about grappa. I have found that quite a few people have had bad grappa experience. I get it. I know. I know what you've been through. I had those same experiences. But I will tell you this. Grappa producers are over it. And they're trying to make sure that we get the good stuff. I had some amazing grappa when I was in Italy. And try aged grappa. Ooh, it is killing it. Some of it will remind you of a cognac. Some of it will remind you of a rum. Um, but you're going to get all these different tastes and flavors depending on what grapes they're made from. It uh, wine producers work with grappa producers, and it's a beautiful, beautiful relationship. But I highly make, recommend you getting in on the grappa, because if not, you're kind of missing it, especially if you like Italian food. So next time you go to an Italian restaurant, order a grappa after your meal and watch it change your life. I'm telling you. Last but not least, let's go to South America, to Peru and Chile, where we talk a little bit about Pisco. Most people have had a Pisco sour, but let me tell you something. Pisco is so much more than that. I actually really don't like Pisco sours, or I just probably haven't had a good one. I'll just put it like that. But you'll find that a lot of Pisco will remind you of grappa. It's normally colorless unless it's aged. The first time I had Pisco by itself was on a cruise around Manhattan. And let me tell you something. It was so delicious. It kind of rocked my world and changed my mind about Pisco. I love having it with empanadas and Peruvian chicken and all my Latin eats and any, anything else. Because I just love Pisco. I mean, I love brandy. I challenge you this month... February to get down and dirty with cognac, Armanac, Pisco, Grappa, whatever brandies, brandies from Greece, brandies from Armenia. Just get down and dirty with the brandy and add more seduction to your palate and switch it up. Instead of just having sparkling wine and red wine for Valentine's Day, why don't you have a little bit of brandy? You can have it in a cocktail if you want to take baby steps. There are a lot of great cocktails out there using brandy now. Um, you can also substitute cognac and Armanac uh, in a cocktail that possibly would be whiskey. 
ski and what have you but also make sure you try it on its own so that you start getting a little bit of flair and flavor for it have it after you have a nice fabulous french meal latin meal whatever rocks the boat for you so hashtag brandy challenge let me know what brandies you are trying i will be covering brandy on my site, YolandaShoshana.com, and on my podcast, Culinary Courtesan, throughout the month, giving you a little more details, a little more suggestions, and just getting more info about Brandy out there. Don't forget to sign up for my two newsletters, whether it is Pompette, which is my pop culture boozy newsletter, or the Culinary Courtesan, if you just want to get off on gastronomy. Thank you so much for being here and tuning in. Until next time, peace, love, and Cheers.